Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we've got a right doozy of a fault. We've got a Ford Ranger where the wing mirror indicator lights are glowing very dimly and the daytime running lights are flickering yet when you turn the heated rear screen on the daytime running lights go out and the wing mirror indicators come on bright. So let's crack on. Okay, so as proof, you can see there that the daytime running lights are flickering and mirror indicator light is on very dimly. Currently, it's just the ignition on, the engine's not running. Let's see if it's the same on both sides. So that side's flickering and also the light is on very dimly. So let's start the engine up and see if it makes a difference. So we've got the engine running now and the daytime running light is still flickering and the light is still on very dimly. So let's now turn the heated front, uh, sorry, heated rear screen on and see what happens. So that's the heated rear screen button. So let's turn it on. The light is on to confirm that it's on. And now the light is on full brightness and the daytime running lights have gone out on both sides. And that bulb's on as well. So, bit of a strange one here, guys. So, let's see if we've got any fault codes. Um, I think this is going to be a wiring diagram job. So, let's go a little bit further. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've got quite a few fault codes. We've got codes in the engine control unit, in the sync module, the APIM, park assist, quite a few in the body control module, uh, and one in the image processing module. So let's see what we've got. I've taken this job on from one of the other guys in the workshop, so some of these fault codes may well be induced. Uh, so, what we've got. Lost communication with ABS. Can link... Uh, brake booster pressure sensor, lost communication with ABS, instrument panel, image processing. So I've got a lot of communication fault codes here. Um, again, body control module. So let's see what we've got in the body control module. <clears throat> lost communication with steering column, restraint event notification. Daytime running light left, so short circuit to battery or open. Daytime running right, light right. Left front position light, so we've got a fault code here for the position lights. Uh, lost communication with instrument panel and the ABS and the power steering and the front control module interface. Lost communication with the radio. Lost communication with the lighting control module and lost communication with the image processing module, the front camera. Um, I think the other lad has fitted a body control module to this and it also had a radio fault, so I know it's had a new radio on it. So a lot of these fault codes could well be induced by the fitting of these. Torn between two here, whether to delete the fault codes or not. Um, I'm gonna look at the wiring diagram first see if there's any link between the front um, daytime running lights and the side indicators on the mirrors see if they're linked anywhere with a heated rear screen we could be looking at a common body earth or something like that so let's have a look before I get my wellies on and dive in I'm just going to do a function test of the mirrors so I'm going to press the button here for the folding in so I'm just going to press it now so there the mirrors fold in and fold out. Um, start with the left mirror, if you're able to see it or not. So we're gonna do the lens up, lens down, left and right. So that's functioning okay. And we'll move across to the driver's side, go up. The mirror is jammed, it looks like the lens is jammed a little bit. So that's up, I can, you can see it moving, 
going down and clicking so it's at its end stop. I've got a left movement and a right movement. So I'll put the heated mirrors on as well and see if they work. I'll put the heated screen on and see if the heated mirrors work, if it's got heated mirrors. So the heated mirrors have been on, a, um, I don't know, 30 seconds and they're warm to touch. So, yep, full function test there. Everything is working okay. Obviously with the exception of the indicator. Let's see what the indicator does. See if the indicator works. So the indicator works. And obviously if I turn the indicator off, the engine's running we've got that lit up. Incidentally, the front indicators aren't lit. Let's just put those on and see what they look like. So there's your front indicators. So they're functioning as normal. Another thing I found as well, guys, if I put these side lights on, or is it uh, running lights as you Americans call them then obviously the running lights come on on both sides but the indicators go out and then in the same um, running condition if I put the heated rear screen on then what happens then is the running lights go out and the indicators come back on as they were just to add further confusion to the job so like I said before let's have a quick look at the wiring diagram right guys um, got a bit of a confession to make I said that the heated mirrors weren't working um, so I've double checked again I think my hands must have been warm and my heart was cold anyway the heated mirrors aren't working on both sides so um, come to a bit of a loss looking at the wiring diagram if there's any um, relationship between the indicators and the parking lights, side lights, heated rear screen. Come to a bit of a loss there so I thought have a bit of a change of direction and we'll look at the heated mirrors not working. So check the heated mirror uh, which is off the relay for the heated rear screen and the fuse under the engine bay, the battery junction box, that's okay got power either side of it so went to the heated mirror itself which is these two wires here and we've got the battery voltage at the connector so that's showing okay and if I put the multimeter on the battery positive and put it to the other pin on the back of the mirror I was only showing two volts where I should be getting battery voltage which with the engine running was about 14.4 volts so we've got some direction. So I've having, obviously I've looked at the wiring diagram already and I can't show you the wiring diagram. So I'll make a wiring diagram and put it up on the screen now. So what we can see on the wiring diagram is that both the mirrors share, sorry, heated mirrors share a common ground, which goes through a notorious multi-plug at the back of the cab on the left-hand side and terminates on the chassis rail towards the rear of the vehicle. Now the heated rear screen also goes through that same multi-plug but the heated rear screen is working okay. I've verified that with the thermal image camera. So what I'm gonna demonstrate now, I'm just gonna give a temporary earth point to the heated mirror and we'll see what happens. So as you can see at the moment, the engine is running. That's the engine running and the mirror is dim. So let me just rig up the temporary earth point. Okay, so we've got the engine running. The heated rear screen is on, as you can see on the end of my index finger there. Can't get my words out. What I've done, I've rigged up a temporary earth running into pin one of the connector. Initially, I did it with a fuse. Um, so before anybody complains, I know now that the potential, sorry, that the potential fault is uh, identified and we've got the heated mirror now switched on. As you can see, it's showing 19 degrees. Not particularly brilliant heated, uh, sorry, thermal imager. Uh, I wouldn't particularly buy one of those, make, if I was you. 
and the best part about it is we've now stopped the flickering and the indicator is showing off now if I just pull the earth point out then the indicator comes straight back on again so what I need to do now is just raise the vehicle a little bit take the arch liner out and have a look at that connector block right so as you can see the vehicle is up in the air and I've got the arch liner just bent back a little bit and it's either going to be this connector or this connector I'm pretty certain it's this middle one so I'm just going to see if the corresponding wire pin 4 which is black and yellow corresponds with this one or this one identify which one it is and have a quick look see if we can identify any issues so as I thought it is this middle connector just on the end of my finger there are two black and yellow tracer wires um, actually there's three I think now uh, we need to be on pin 4 have a quick look at that one so I'm going to get the multi plug parted now have a look at this side and have a look on that side so we've got it parted and doesn't look to be any issue any corrosion or anything within the female side of the plug and nor any issues on the male side of the plug hoping with this camera because it's only a little GoPro so it doesn't zoom in and it's got a quite a long distance for focus so I hope you can focus in on that um, I might go and swap the lens put a macro lens on it anyway that's going off topic so it does appear to look okay um, so I'll just do some quick testing now and see if we can identify whether we've got a wiring issue between the mirrors and this plug or between this plug and the earth point or whether the fault was in the plug itself okay so I'm hope okay so I'm hoping you can see this um, I've got a back probe into pin 4 of the multi plug and I'm just going to load test it with a bulb now I've got the other end of the bulb connected up directly to the battery positive and as you can see there nice and bright that's a h7 headlight so we're really stress testing this wiring harness so we know now that from here to the earth point uh, which is further ahead under the wheel arch right back here that's perfectly okay so luckily the bed harness as I call it is okay so now I need to concentrate on this side of the harness um, which is obviously going forward towards the mirrors and there's a splice joint for both of them so let's test it further so we've established that the wire from the multi plug to the ground point is okay we've load tested that with no problems so now I'm going to go from the mirror connector and I'm going to go do a continuity test before I load test it uh, from here back all the way through the vehicle to the other side of the multi plug in the wheel arch so as you can see there I'm connected into pin 4 of the multi plug and we're showing a resistance of 0.4 which admittedly we're not under any particular load but for the minute I'm not really concerned with that sort of figure and our fault could be lying with a pin grip issue so I'm going to do a pin grip next pin grip test next on the female side of the pin okay guys so we found the problem uh, I'm in pin 3 at the minute and a bit of a stupid one this is like watching snooker on the radio um, I got a bit of a nice nice feeling on that one I can feel the grip and this one absolutely nothing and to coin a phrase from I've used from another video this pin grip is as slack as Elton John's ass. Nice and tight, nice and slack. So that is tight fit, the lion sleeps tonight. That is slack, rocket man, candle in the wind. So there's a problem. So see if I can depin it or nip it up and see if we can get a fix. Okay, so I've managed to depin the connector, but unfortunately, silly bollocks here. Um, nipped it up too much and crushed it so I've looked through my box of tricks and I've found another connector which will do the trick it's a different color unfortunately but it is the same thickness 
So I'm going to put a heat shrink connector on it, a weatherproof connector, get it joined up to this wire, get it put back in the connector and all built back up and let's give it a test. Okay, so we've got it all connected up. Uh, the observant ones amongst you will notice I've changed the wire because the connector that I got from my spares didn't fit. So I managed to find one now with the same colour. So let's connect the connector back up and let's see if we've got a fix. So we've got the ignition on. I can't reach in and start the vehicle up yet because I really can't reach in. There's not enough gap. So the ignition's on, indicator's not lit up and the side light isn't flickering. I've got the, ve so. I've got the vehicle off the ramp now. The engine is running. Heated screen is switched on. I shut the door and the indicator is off and the side light is working so I'm gonna call that a fix guys uh, so it's just a loose connection or a loose pin grip no earth to the heated mirrors putting the side lights out when you put the heated rear screen on and lighting up the side indicators so I'm calling that a fix thanks for watching Please subscribe, please like, please share. Cheers guys.